Hey, yo, Trail, what's the deal? Ain't no lie. I told you what's up, man. I can't get no way. I can't get no energy, and I ain't for the rest Shit, I got a red cup, I keep making a mess I'm finna book a flight, take a trip out west huh. She already know I know, so she telling me yes We spent on a lot of work. I mean, we dropped a hot single. Yeah. Um, it's going crazy right now. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say, like, what's the thought process by your, like, behind your writing? And I like to have people around, like I said, to create that vibe. But even without that vibe, I already know the direction I'm going. So that's pretty much just, I mean, that's my central kit right there. So as far as like the producer, who you been rocking with? Too many, man. But I always have some love to my dog, JJR. Uh, JJR, that's my boy. Uh, there's a lot of people out here in the world that's just making beats. I make beats myself, so. Are you, are you making beats too? Yeah, and I don't really produce for a lot of other rappers, but I produce a lot of my tracks, so. Okay. It's just something I do. And I, Edits my arsenal and kind of like, I like the master, you know, I'm slick Garuzzi, Blueberry Garuzzi's guru, so I'm like a master at everything, so. Oh, that's definitely dope. And that's one thing I really noticed about you coming up, because I knew for a little minute, I mean, sure. and you was always different, like, yeah, you know I mean, so that's why I always respected your hustle and stuff like that, so how, is, how, how important is it for you to be able to do different lanes and stuff like that? It's super important, bro, because when I first started rapping and making music, I didn't have no buyer, no resources. I had yeah, a yeah. guitar hero microphone and a laptop, bro. Oh, so me. I remember I used to call studios and hang up because I was scared to ask for the price. So it just came from that. I had to record myself growing up and then as I started making clothing, I realized the machines was, the machines that I had to get was cheaper than my actual uh, shipments. Okay. So once I got the machines, I kind of just started profiting from there and, and then making beats and trying to shoot a shop on video out in California. So, not having I just had to keep traveling. Now I'm just independent. Right, right. Who was some of your influences? Like, you know, somebody you was looking up to? You know, you gotta be on the road. You know, somebody you special music. Uh, my all time favorite I look up to is Hov, like, for his businessman aspect. He's not my favorite rapper, but just, yeah. I think he's the greatest rapper of all time because what he was able to do after rap mm -hmm. and what he was able to do because of rap. Yeah. And I, uh, the reason I probably started rapping, to be real, never told nobody is Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, yeah. Um, him and my dad used to do a little bit, you know what I mean? My dad was going to the city, come in and talk about Wiz, because Wiz was the hottest at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it just was a way for me to try to, like, put it, put my imprint on the game. You know what I mean? It was like, my dad was working, just working pop, and he was a favorite rapper at the time, so, and he's also in the same city as me, so it was just, you know what I mean? Wiz and Hope were all on Oh, that's definitely dope, so, you know Pittsburgh is coming up in the music scene right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's certain things that we may lack as well too. What are some things you feel like Pittsburgh as a whole can do to make this city better on the music scene? Uh, I think we're in the right direction right now. I feel like we need more support from the people who's not a part of the scene right now, okay. but in the city. So it's like the rappers and the videographers and the producers, I think everybody's doing their thing and they're doing just what they need to do. And we kind of lose sight thinking that we're probably not because we don't have the support of the people around us. Exactly. So 
we need more people like you, more people that's going to come and talk to us and get our stories out there. And exactly. We just need more ways to get us out there. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, but right. I think everybody's on the right track right now. Right, right. What's some things that you feel like maybe, like I don't ask a lot of artists that, but some things you may like that, like you feel like, it, like you're trying to improve or you're working on improving? Uh, should I answer that in the terms of my music yeah, or yeah, in the yeah, terms of yeah, me as yeah, a person? Yeah. Both, 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 both. Uh, music, I'll say my promotion for sure. Okay. okay. I've, I've been improving definitely, but I'm always learning, and I just been researching new ways to get my music to new people. Cause right, right. in my city, a lot of people know me. Like, exactly. No, there, it's not too many ways to like once they already like me. You know what I'm saying? So now I got to figure out ways to make more people like me. That's how you really expand in this. Uh, personally, something I got to expand on is just uh, I mean get better at. It's probably just. Uh, trying to keep in touch to the people around me, with okay. the people around me, because okay. I'm a real busy dude, and I'm, I'm so tough and focused on what I'm trying to do. Sometimes I lose sight of like people that care about me now. I've been trying to show them as much ways as I could, but they watch me so much. I know they definitely care. I definitely, that's what's up, and I like to ask questions like that. Insight like, and feel uh, who you are as a person. Okay. So, um, who would you say is like your top five artists? Time. All time, yeah. Like I said, Ho, Tupac, uh, Ho, Tupac. A lot of people will be will disagree with this, but I gotta put Eminem up there just because okay. of like what he do. Mm -hmm. He's not really my favorite rapper per se, but like unbiasedly, you gotta put him in there for what he did for the world. Yeah. I mean, so Eminem, he's got Ho, Tupac, Eminem, Lil Wayne. Right. And I know there's a lot more people that's in there. That, that's an arguable fab. I'll give you a different fab tomorrow. Right, right, right. right. That's no, a fab right now. So um, we, you got a, you got something big that I really wanted to talk about that you got coming on. This is like your last couple of days there. Yeah. Um, so you're moving to Cali. Mm -hmm. So um, what makes you pick Cali out of all places? Uh, growing up, bro, I used to watch the BT Awards. I used to watch Kobe and the Lakers and. Every Friday, every movie I wanted to see, I was just always wanted to be a part of the entertainment. Right, yeah, I right, always right. wanted to do music, and everything that I seen was based in LA, you know, mm -hmm. it was in Hollywood. So as I got older, it was like, I started to realize it was a facade a little, like it's not like what did you think it is, but I took my first trip there at about 18 years old, and uh, I learned even though it's not what you expect it to be, literally created to be what you needed to be. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So my big brother told me like you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like that. So so I just want to be a person that's a place where I'm around everything I need to be able to sell my brand. Right, right. Now that's definitely good and it's like the way you're thinking is that's how you're going to expand whatever you're doing. I mean okay. you gotta that's somebody true. told me um, Whatever you got with you, expand what you got to. Don't ever be scared to network. So I commend you on that because, like, a lot of people don't have the courage to really get out and want to move what they got going on. Yeah, and, you know, so it's like for you to take the leap of faith. I commend for that. That's what's up, brother. Yes, sir. So keep doing that. I so um, that, we got some projects that we should be waiting on. Man, I got a lot in tune for y'all, man. I'm still working on Who is Slicker Rudy Part One. I've been working on it for so long, but I'm just trying to make sure it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never felt the mistake. I always just about music and mm -hmm. freestyles and just tried to get people to know who I was first. So now I'm trying to drop who is Slicker Woozy. Right, right. Give y'all that final answer. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So. Then, like, uh, back in the day, I remember, uh, would you know, like a rap group? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? Like, your, your roots from how it all started? All right, so I started rapping with them. Yeah. That's all that know. Lot of noise and a lot of people probably don't even recognize me from the things we did back then mm -hmm. like i had woo the kid in my first video yeah yeah, yeah. brick squad uh there was a lot we did we performed a lot moose lounge performed with some of the uh pittsburgh legends mm -hmm. and uh a very young age yeah too. i was about 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people don't realize that's me because i changed my rap name and i kind of rebranded yeah, myself yeah, yeah. once i became uh once we kind of separated and started doing our own thing, but yeah, we was doing our thing young, man, oh, and we made a lot of noise. That's kind of like 
So, uh, you got any, like, upcoming features that you have? Can you talk about that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I got some heat coming with my boy, Stunner Too Fly. Okay. Me and Troll and Me's got some. You know, I'm always working with my brother, Dre Rosa. So. Okay, yeah. Now, shout out to Troll. Yeah. Uh, Newski, shout out to the 23 Gurus. Yeah, shout out to Troll. I got so many features, bro. Shout out Moses, me, it's Troll again. Uh, mm -hmm. Juan Dude. I got too many features and I'm trying to release them all for y'all soon, but I, no proper preparation for right, right. performance. No, nah, definitely, definitely. So you tapped in with a lot of people. Yeah. That's like a, not a lot of hill people, a lot of yeah. north side people. I Been my own person, bro. So it's like, I fuck with whoever I fuck with, bro. Like, and it's, and nobody really, like, I feel like people got respect for me, and niggas respect me in the city, and I show respect back. Right, so that's just what it is, bro. We all got a common goal. Like, even though everybody is, he might not fuck with him or he beats with him, at the end of the day, bro, we're all just trying to be successful, no, get some true. money, and take true. care of our family. So if you approach somebody with respect, they're going to approach you with the same respect. Definitely, I say you respect them, man. You walk on, you know what I mean? They're show that love right back. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, uh, from, let's see, let's say like five years from now, like where you really see yourself in this music shit or in your brand in general? Uh, five years from today? Yeah, yeah. The BET Awards was on, so I'm probably gonna be performing there at this you know moment, you know what I'm saying? Like you know at this moment right now, but five years from now, I'm gonna probably be, uh, keep doing what I'm doing right now, because, sure. like I said, you can't ever get content. Even if I feel like I reach where I want to be in five years, I'm going to have a new goal. Right? A new goal. You know that, that, so just keep going. In five years, I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm doing now, just at an elevated level. Right. Uh, that's what it is. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's definitely good, man. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we uh, get up out of here? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Shop Garuzi. Come get y'all some Garuzi gear. Make sure y'all fuck with my boy Scoop TV. For sure. And stay tuned to everything we got going on. And uh, make sure y'all come see me on LA. Y'all gonna say any for real, for, like for well wishes and stuff to your uh, viewers and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. know I love y'all, man. This is my city. This is where home is at. And uh, I'm gonna be back for sure. I ain't gone forever, bro. This one, I'm doing even better. That's real. Shout out to you. Appreciate you.